Greetings, it's just me, Arlisha, aka Legata, the Divine Plant Diva, here today to talk to you about a fish recipe that I use, including using my herbs, basil. Basil is one of the uh, really wonderful herbs that give your fish a really fresh and wonderful taste. Some people have, uh, you know, wanted to find different combinations to, you know, liven up their fish. I think you'll like this one. I use tuna and salmon most of the times in my fish dishes. I'm going to show you a video uh, with salmon. If you like these kind of videos, put down in the comment section that you enjoy those. And consider joining our family by hitting the subscription button. Remember, get a plant. They're God's beautiful creation. Love them and they will love you back and they will grow. Stay tuned. And remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. I just love basil and I grow it right here on my porch garden. Uh, a lot of times people don't know that you can do this. You know, incidentally, basil, and you might not even know this, is a, a herb that's a part of the mint family. Uh, it's definitely going to add flavor to your meals and um, nutrients that uh, it will provide. You'll find that people put it on many different food, including pizza. It has vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. Uh, it is a really nice flavor uh, that you can uh, put forth to any different meals but as you know I'm going to be talking to you in terms of showing you about uh, my fish dishes so that's one of the big reasons why I would use basil but just so that you know that it's a beautiful plant too it's just lovely I added to my tuna and uh, this is just showing you some uh, my ahi tuna it's raw at this point I just wanted to let you see how uh a nice those color contrasts are that nice pinkish uh, uh seafood tuna ahi tuna and basil together i've seasoned it i'm going to show you a video where i'm doing actually cooking the salmon but i just wanted you to see how i prepared the tuna the tuna is seared i really don't uh, like my tuna completely cooked particularly my ahi tuna completely cooked but just want to show you how it looks prepared seared i've added mushroom to it uh in my dish and spinach uh so that you could see uh how lovely that meal combination is with that basil and i wish you could taste it i also prepare some of it with my swiss chard that i use on my porch uh mushrooms peppers in this particular case i don't have any mushrooms on it but peppers spinach swiss chard that i use on my porch so just look at the beautiful colors together and believe me it tastes uh wonderful use your things off of your porch grow some of your stuff on your porch i know you all some of you have urban small gardens take advantage of it Today, what we're going to be doing is using our basil from my porch garden to prepare salmon. Uh, and um, basil gives things a really rich flavor. So, well, you should really just set the fish up the way you like it. For the most part, it takes some time to get used to. If you're a person that... Um, fries your fish you might consider grilling it because grilling um, gives it's a nice flavor when you grill it but also uh, it reduces the amount of calories that you you take even though you I'm using olive oil uh, olive oil is a good uh, oil to use it's a plant-based oil as opposed to uh, oil that's animal based which uh, they don't make a whole lot anymore but uh, it's a plant-based oil and it's a very good oil it has the good fat in it so to speak but uh, you should be uh, mindful of the serving size of olive oil or any of the oils that you put on your food so olive oil approximately is about 120 calories per tablespoon so you try to stay within the ranges of the calories on the food if you care 
<laughs> some people don't care. They're just fine. It's okay to have what they need to have on the food. So um, as you're preparing the food, I've also put uh, some lemon thyme on the food. Uh, and I've also placed on the food some um, garlic salt. Uh, just to flavor the fish but basically if you are a person that doesn't like lemon thyme so to speak or garlic salt you can put what you want to put in there so as you can see I put the fish on the grill already and I, I really do appreciate this uh, grill uh, and um, it was cooking power too <laughs> it's a really good cooking power uh, but you can fry it on the stove. I mean, you can grill it on the stove in your skillet or your pan if you're particularly cooking for a lot of people. <laughs> it can work out that way for you. But as you continue to move through preparation, it's just so important to make sure that you're preparing this food with a wonderful flavor that you can have. And I'm just to tell you, basil is a really nice flavor on fish. It really reduces the fishy, fishy taste of fish. Um, and it really uh, provides a nice fragrance to the fish. Um, and in such a way that it becomes really pleasing to the palate. Uh, so definitely um, consider using basil. Now I've in the past used a combination of basil, uh, as you've seen my video before, basil, spinach, mushroom, peppers, um, just I just went all out <laughs> when preparing uh, my tuna, which is what you saw early. I didn't, you, I didn't prepare it, of course, but I just showed you some pictures of it, and I'm hoping that you enjoyed seeing those things. So uh basically just so that you understand that while we're preparing this that you want to make sure that things are comfortable to your palate uh, i've also used rosemary uh, from my garden and i've used some of the thyme from my garden and some of the oregano from my garden so i've, I've put a, a little combination and i've also included making some of the using some of the swiss chard uh, that I'm growing on uh, my porch. So you might consider uh, maybe uh, growing some of these herbs for you. And they're very tasty and uh, they, they, they have, uh, you know, some, you know, some municipal uh, power too to them. And you just look individually up if you're looking for that uh, element of them. Um, I don't just limit them to my fish. I also put them in my teas and things of that sort so yes now i wish you guys could smell this it smells so good you can see the steam coming off of it uh it's so good i really have enjoyed uh my fish since i have put basil on it and have livened it up. It has been wonderful. I look forward to uh, trying other kinds of fish. You know, like I said, you know, my favorite kind is um, salmon and tuna. So, yes. I don't know about you, but I, I turn mine over. You can do yours like you like it, however you like your grill. I have a really small grill on purpose because I try to eat portions. You know, as we get older, we retain the, the weight. And uh, because we retain the weight, it becomes harder to lose the weight. So, for all practical purposes. Some people like their fish like parsley cooked. Uh, I do. I, I particularly like that with tuna. Uh, salmon, I cook mostly. I don't have to have it totally cooked. Because I do eat raw fish. You know, but if you use, you might want to keep it completely. Uh, uh, severed inside. And, uh, and then I put my other piece here. Right. So later. I 
decided I'm just going to get some more uh, pieces because, you know, I when you uh, prepare the other pieces, they, they shrink. And you want the part where you're going to have them shrink first. You want that part. And I know that you guys are probably saying she's mixing meat with, with herbs, but because I'm preparing this with the meat, it's okay. Some people like to just have theirs on the grill and just um, prepare it like that and keep it like that and that they're fine with that. And some people like me, I like to turn mine. <laughs> so it depends on you and how you'd like to do yours. This is totally up to you how you prepare, plan to prepare yours. But it's really good and it's something that does not take that long to prepare. And you can get a nice flavor to your uh, with your basil. And put a few pieces of basil in here. And you don't have to necessarily lay on top, but just that you put it in there so that it can get into the meat. It's a really good flavor. I would take a little piece. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's good enough. Especially since I'm going to be reheating this part. And then I'll take the remaining of my basil. Put it on the grill. Because I want it a bit cooked. a little bit and not I don't want I don't like mine completely done uh, the pieces that I want to decorate the top with I don't like them completely done and because I want to decorate the top with them so see that and um there is your your fish you can see that it is um got nice of uh, and it, it it tastes so good it has the your basil on it uh and it's flavorful um Um, cut a piece like I said I like mine's not completely done but you can cook yours to the fullest and uh, it's a really good piece mmm I wish you all could taste it it's delicious so use your herbs in your garden and take some of them and put them in your food so you can see I prepared the salmon and the tuna and I'll let you see my ingredients for that and I hope you enjoyed it 
If you like videos like this, comment, subscribe, and like the video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Beautiful, beautiful souls. Goodbye.